you know, why bother doing this? Oh, wait, wait, wait. It fits into this larger question of, of how humans used the land, how humans in the past um, adapted and survived uh, in, in, in this place. Being able to put measures forward to reconstructing the past lifeways of those populations is huge and very important. It's good to be able to step in other people's shoes, even if those people lived thousands of years ago. But if you invert the pot over a fire, which is what usually happens, you actually suck the oxygen out of There are population dynamic questions that we can answer. There are questions about um, landscape use and, and identity that we can answer. I think it just helps us understand people today more when we study people in the past. Everybody is at least sort of interested in how other people act or how other people, um, like how people were raised or what, what your, how your friends live or like how their houses are. It's, I think a lot of the issues in the world right now are based off of ignorance of what other people are going through and to be able to listen and see and learn from those people is a very good thing to have. A lot of interesting, big anthropological kinds of questions, I think. I think people should be interested in anthropology because you kind of get a broader perspective and like a more, a greater appreciation for um, not only yourself and what you have, and you, you can, you see a broader perspective on uh, people of, the, of other areas like that have come from other backgrounds. Helps us to like not recreate our mistakes and just understand people better. So, I mean, you're basically making yourself and your company, I mean, whoever you might end up with, more marketable because you have exposure to multiple different cultures and peoples of different backgrounds, you know, religiously, um, whatever traditions they might have. Everyone gets excited about places like Cahokia and the pyramids of Giza and stuff like that, but the people for thousands of years made a living here and survived here, and I'm fascinated to know how they did that.